Okie dokie, we're going to do uh, this set, which is, you can't see because of the lights. Oh gosh, it's terrible. Um, hold on. Okay, it's this set here, which is pretty new. It was just in the shop. Um, so it's the new season cheap sets, and that's what this channel is all about. And so we're going to do this tonight. I've got another one of these. Uh, I'm just going to go buy all the cheapy sets. And, and go through them quick. Uh, not that this video is going to get published anytime soon, <laughs> as usual. Though I am uploading a video as we speak. And we're currently at 61%. So, this looks interesting because it has otters. So, uh, that's, that's just, it's worth it just for that. And the interesting thing is, at the shop that I bought this from, this has not increased in price from the usual, and it's quite good value. These cheap sets are quite good value. Uh, so they're in, in currently inflation proof. Uh, which is the thing, I like, I, oh gosh. I saw, I saw somebody complaining about, like, oh, I wasn't complaining, it was a meme about, you know, how, some of these are, I, people were just talking about how expensive Lego is, and I feel like, it, I mean, yes, it's, it's a pricey toy, but it's a lot cheaper than it was when I was a kid. <laughs> like, it, it's just, you know, way, way cheaper. Uh, like a set like this, this is like the cheapest set you can buy. And you're getting a good supply of pieces. Um, and in, like, you know, when I was a kid, which is a long time ago, um, the smallest set you could get in New Zealand, uh, which is like these little space sets. It had like I don't know ten pieces or something. I feel like I, I should I should get a look it up and show the example of one of the tiny sets that I had, and they had literally very few pieces, and that would be like nine ninety five in New Zealand dollars in the eighties, which is going to be a like thirty or forty dollars or something. In today's money, probably realistically, um, well, at least at least at least twenty five, I would say. Um, I'm not. I mean, it's yeah, about two percent every twenty years. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a you know, I'm sure it's going to be about two and a half times more at least. Um, and so you know, this is not much more than nine ninety five. This is thirteen dollars to buy the set. And so it feels like, well, this is a lot more pieces than you would have got uh, for a more expensive amount years ago. So it's not really, you know, well, it is expensive, but it's not like it's getting worse. It's, it hasn't really gotten worse. It, it has got better. Uh, so that's all I have to say about that. There's nothing else to say because that, that is basically it. It's not that expensive. It just feels that way. But, you know, it's a quality toy, and you, well, mostly. And so people have complained a lot about the older brown. I've got to find, like, I, I, have, I, have, I have Lego sets from the era of not very good brown. I never had a brown break. Um, I don't think I've ever had any piece break. Uh, there was something, didn't I have something on this channel where something went, or was, I can't remember, but there was a, a quality issue, I'm sure, in a video that I did on this channel. So, there was something, but it's just very rare. So anyway, that's all I have to say about that, because there's nothing much else to think about. I did get a uh, another Lego set today that wasn't a brand new one, uh, that, uh, from the Opportunity Shop, the thrift store, and I'll do that one at some point too. And that was a bit unexpected. I I didn't actually had I hadn't actually seen it in the shop, but it's not the kind of set that I go looking for. So that's something to look forward to in a future video, maybe even the next one. Uh, so far, this set is going, you know, fine. <laughs> it's not too exciting. Uh, I'm 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 going to I'm going to purposely ignore the otters until the point that they actually come into it, uh, and that just goes there. Gosh, that was a a simple thing, and they had like much simpler instructions back in the day. So 
Oh, it's a it's a little control panel. Look at that. It's a printed piece. I, there we go. That focused. Um, so yeah, like there was no way when I was a kid, just going back to the Lego, that I'd ever be able to. Uh, I never would have got. You have to be pretty rich to get like those castle sets and the pirate sets and the space sets. Uh, well, I, th I thought you did. <laughs> they were not. Um, you have to be pretty rich now to buy a large set, but I think you had to be richer when I was younger. There was a, an image going around recently. I'm yawning because it's way too late to be doing this video. Um, an image recently, like, you know, it's a weird sort of infographic thing about the relative prices of Lego in different countries. Uh, I would have personally preferred just a list, you know, going from first to the third, to, you know, like an ordered list going down the page. Sometimes it's just like, I don't know if it's that useful to have um, a pretty picture, but I guess it's the way you think. But anyway, that doesn't, it doesn't matter. And, you know, New Zealand, where I live, didn't come out too bad. It was not, you know, particularly expensive, um, which is nice. Um... Because you got to, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that took into account sales tax. So you know, we take away the sales tax uh, and then make the comparison, which feels like you shouldn't do that if you're going to make that kind of comparison. Um, but but then you should always make a little disclaimer because otherwise people will be like blaming. Where is the other one of these? Where, oh, there it is. We'll be blaming the Lego Corporation for the price thing, when it might just be that some countries have a higher sales tax. Um, so, there was something I was going to talk about last video, I realized afterwards that I should have talked about. Uh, and there was something I was going to talk about today, but forgotten it, it's gone completely. I've been watching Star Trek The Next Generation, <laughs> re-watching some episodes, or maybe even watching them for the very first time. Because it is quite likely, even though I was a fan when it originally came out, that I have not actually seen all of the episodes at some point. Um, so, yeah. That's also something I had to say. Look, so they're walking along. I do, I do like this little walking along the bottom bit. It does make it fun. I remember that I only had 20 minutes left on the, uh, on the, on the, on the memory card. So I'm going to have to move it along a bit. But we're going pretty... Oh, no, we're not going pretty good, are we? Because they've got to go all the way across the two pages. Ah, oh, well, that's that's not so good. Um, so we're going to have to step it up a little bit. Oh, there are different angles. Okay. And this is where their camera is going to go. Where's the camera bit? I feel like the camera is not important. I feel like the camera is wasting my time. And why have they not redesigned this camera thing? Like, it does not, it does not, I don't think, vibe with, you know, younger generations. No Gen Z, Gen Z person, Gen Z, is going to really, <laughs> I guess you can't, you know. I mean, I guess they would, right? I mean, people do still use those kind of cameras. So, and of course, if you are out with beavers, or otters, otters, not beavers, um, then you probably would have a proper camera. I was going to buy another, I've got to find my, my semi-decent camera. Um, I was going to buy another camera like the one that I use for this, um, just because I quite like it. Uh, it's not really, really a good camera. <laughs> it's the wrong camera to have bolted to your desk. But that's just the way it's gone and I'm used to it, so I'm not going to change. Because uh, it has like a 40 something zoom, 40 times zoom. It's like, well, maybe you should use that for things that are far away and not for things that are right up next to the camera. Uh, that's true. That's 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 totally true. I could probably just get a webcam, probably works just as well. But, who knows. Okay, the wheels are done, the car is done. So it feels like we've pretty much done all the important stuff. Uh... And they're going to sit there with their helmet if they're going to have a helmet. So those that can all go up to the side. Now, green. I feel like half this video is me actually turning the pages. Like, if I didn't have to turn the pages. Like, if I, I probably should be doing this with an app. 
like we're just going and then I can really really unleash my power and uh, wreak, wreak habit, wreak habit, wreak habit, havoc on things. I have been finally after many years um, copying across my mini DV video recordings that I have made many years ago. So at some point in the past something uh, worryingly tragic, well not tragic, but a, a, a calamity had befallen someone and I was a bit worried that they might not be around that much longer so I persuaded someone to give me some money to buy a digital camcorder that took mini DV tapes. I don't think I have a, TV, a tape on the table. Uh, so it turns out I actually I actually made quite a few recordings over the years back in the 2000s, <laughs> uh, and so I finally, you know, only after like 15, 15, 16, 17 years, or whatever, have got around to transferring them all onto the computer and then transferring them onto more <laughs> long term. But having said, say, you know, saying long term storage, they've absolutely had no problems at all. Uh, there's no no degradation in the tapes or anything. Uh, so <laughs> that's probably the best way to store all the stuff. Um, but now I've finally done it, so I've got multiple copies of it, and it's been quite an exciting thing to to do to have a look at the old recordings. Though it does make me go, I really wish that I filmed more things with with me and other people in it. And it's like it's like this thing, right? I mean, it's even worse these days. Everyone has a has a movie camera in their pocket, <laughs> except for me, who doesn't actually carry around a cell phone like that. Um, but I carry around a camera half the time. It's like there's no excuse, even for someone who doesn't doesn't carry a smartphone, to do this, because everyone's got a camera that that films things. Like, hello, <laughs> this is a camera right here. Uh, yet I feel like you know. I'm personally not doing any more recording of things uh, than I ever did before. In fact, I feel like I've done less recording in the last 10 years than I did in the previous 10 years by a fair bit. Um, it's just because it doesn't... I mean, I guess people... You know, these days people make, you know, like selfie videos and things. I don't know. When you're out and you're doing stuff with people. Um, but... I just feel like, you know, it just should be more <laughs> like, you know, you always want to say, you always want to say, well, I'm going to record us doing stuff for a little bit. Um, and that's fine. We should just naturally do that. Um, but it just feels really awkward and weird to do that. <laughs> but it's actually really good to go back and watch videos of yourself and people you knew from like, you know, 15 years ago. It's actually... Um, quite a good experience, even if it was a dumb video. It's it's actually quite you know quite good. Um, I think the, the problem is, of course, if you make a video now, uh, got seven minutes left. I'm going to have to hurry. Then you don't really want to watch it because it's kind of like you know cheesy and makes you want to wince a bit, and you go, like, oh, that was that was pretty bad. Um, oh gosh. <laughs> so uh, okay, oh, I feel like this is a very awkward piece to put in. Gosh, look at this! <laughs> these blue, these blue pieces. Uh, they're really, they're really like challenging the 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 reader. Um, so yeah, so I my my goal, as per usual, is to actually just 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 make more videos of me and people that I know, um, and just sort of somehow get over that. And but I actually hate being filmed, and I hate like, I, don't, I hate when people take my photo. Uh, and it's not that I actually hate people taking my photo. So I don't like people taking my photo and then putting it on social media. And it's like, hey, here am I with my friends. I don't mind. If, I wouldn't mind if they did it, took the photo, and then in 20 years' time they'd put that on social media and then said, hey, this is the, remember remember this day back in the thing. But if they're gonna put it on straight away, I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. So this frog does not go in the, in the same way that I can't fit the frog in. It doesn't matter. Uh, and then, then this thing goes on top of that, right? We're almost. I feel like. I feel like. Surely, we're we're pretty much at the end of this thing. Why? Why is there more stuff to do? <laughs> There's not that many pieces left. There's a tree. Okay, we've got oh, we're just under six minutes left to go. So, I need to stop panicking. Um, what is it? Why? Oh, what? Is this is like. A, I don't understand this at all. I feel like they should show you the bottom of this. 
and then because it's a bit like is it really it's a seriously a bit confusing does it go there or does it go a bit further down um, I don't know it does it which way around does it go it goes or it goes that way I'm assuming it goes it has to go like that um, because where else well okay that, that that's a more useful picture then that's a more useful picture ah uh, because you can see where it is anyway doesn't matter and so yes yeah, so that's my goal and I think it should be your goal too I mean I'm sure our people these you know younger people they're you know they're always out taking videos but I think people take videos and they do it like purpose ones where you you're doing it as a selfie and you're going like this and you're doing it with friends and you're chatting but like taking videos of people just doing stuff around you like if you're at a party just filming the party and filming people and going and talking to people and getting them on the camera uh are we doing that anymore i don't know i'm certainly not and i feel like i should be <laughs> it just feels so cheesy and weird to do it um and I remember taking videos, right? People were like, oh, he's got his camera and he's going to take videos of us. And it's like, uh, please don't. And it's like, oh, but you'll appreciate it one day. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Yeah, 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 and yeah. All right. Uh, so some of the other sets that I've got, I've got some interesting ones of these. I feel like I'm going to get some interesting leaf things coming up. Um just thought I'd say that and now we're almost at the point where we can finally talk about the otters did I call them beavers when I started this I don't think I called them beavers they're clearly not beavers oh my gosh oh my gosh this is a disaster we were so close to getting this done and then it's all going to fall to pieces um, hold on I think it's better you know what I think is better I think it's better if you put these together before you put them on the top and do it like that and then put that there <laughs> kind of uh, and away we go all right and now we just have to that's it we've done it we've done it I can relax so the beavers go here and I guess they slide down the that thing <laughs> Uh, oh, I guess it is like this is just I don't understand this is must be a bubbling brook I feel like they could have put like a couple of different colored single stud things there to make it look like this There's like an underground reason like why would the water be where does the water come out? Why is the water coming out of here and going down this? What is it? What is happening with this? Uh, but apparently the otters like to sit on here and According to the picture uh, They look kind of weird when they're outlined in red. Let's check that that's the the thing so we've got visors we get a cool little helmet uh, which I'm not going to put on but that's always handy to have those um, this is actually the kind of helmet that I've been trying to get for myself because I want to cover up my face when I cycle because the Sun's really you know I don't want the Sun on my face all the time when I'm cycling around and a normal helmet doesn't really cover up your face but you can get like a you know a downhill motocross type helmet but they're all so heavy <laughs> like I bought a bunch and they're just like, I mean, I got them cheap off, off, off the internet, like secondhand. But they were all super heavy. Uh, and they're really, really tight fits. And they always give me headaches to put them on, even if they're the right size. And it's just like, why can't we just have a lightweight one, like a normal helmet, that happens to have a wrap around? Like, it's just hard to get. Like, I'm sure I can, but it will cost me too much money and I can't be bothered. And it's just like, can't I just have a cheap one <laughs> that doesn't weigh too much so I can cover my face up? All I care about is covering up my face. face. Um... And so that's the otter. We're going to come in real close. And there's the otter. And you can see their eyeballs. Um, and you can see their, they've got a nose that's colored in and the very small eyes. <laughs> so it's quite neat. You get two of them. And I feel like that's appropriate. You can't really have one otter. That would just wouldn't work. I feel like the fish is a bit of a, an odd an odd thing. I feel like the fish is the thing that they sort of said, well, we have to throw a fish in there. Like, they're otters. They're going to eat a fish. And they're like, but have you seen the fish piece? It doesn't really work with the otters. Um, you know, it doesn't, it's got like, <laughs> it's got like, the th she can like hold the fish like this and do a Monty Python skit. I mean, that's what it feels like. Um, so <laughs> there you go. But anyway, that was quite fun. And I, I was quite surprised to see these in the shop. Um, I didn't actually even know what the, the new ones were. So, uh, this one was my favorite one out of the lot of the new ones because it has the otters, but there's some interesting friends ones. So I'm going to get those next time too. And the car's interesting. I actually thought the car was going to have the wiggly wheel thing. 
because uh, looking at the boxes, I'm like, this is just kind of like the last year's one, but with different colors. Uh, but this doesn't have the wobbly wheels. So maybe people were like, uh, it's not as exciting as you think it is. Um, so there you go. All right, thanks for watching. I'm going to finish with 20 seconds left on the clock after panicking. Oh, wait, actually, we can look at the back. Uh, oh, yeah, there's that car thing. That's something that's, that's a cheapy one. Uh, so maybe I'll get that one too. Maybe I'll get one of these larger ones as well. Anyway, have a good evening. Bye. I'm just going to wait for the clock to run out. Three, two, one, bye.